All right, here we are in the city cemetery. This right here is the Booth plot. George Jefferson Booths. Grave is right here. The Chenaults are back here. It's Charles Polk, died in 1994. Carrie Fleeta Hoskins died in 1999. Those two, the Chenaults, those are the two newest graves in here. So 99, <clears throat> this is 16, so what is that like? 16, 17, 18, 19, so 16 years ago, she was buried right here. But look at all the room in this in this lot. We've got someone buried here. The Chenaults. So one, two, three, four, five. Let me count that again. It's kind of hard to do it on the screen. So there's one in the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Eight. So that means in this lot you can fit, at least we know, eight across. But look at this corner. Why can't we bury someone in this corner? Why can't we fit a ninth person? Right? Look how tightly over here these graves are spaced. <laughs> I mean, there's inches. And over here it's like... What, three feet? Okay, so once again, we've got eight across here and then an open spot. The second row right here, we've got one, two, three, four. This one right here, four. And the rest of row, what we're gonna call row number two is open. So there's at least four, or what I would call five more spots open. Four being in front of these right here. And then maybe a fifth one if we utilize this room here in the corner. There is room for four rows in this cemetery. Row number three has Tom Booth in it. We know they can fit eight across. Tom is the only person on this row, which means we can fit, what, seven more people? Seven! Look, there's nobody here. And then row number four has a little girl, a little girl named Bessie Louise Smith. Died in 1907. I don't know who she is, but she's in row number four. Nobody else is in row number four. So, up the top, we have eight, eight graves. In row number one, row number two, we have four. Row number three, we have one. In row number four, we have one. So what is that? Seven plus seven is 14 plus four is 18. And then if you put them down this side right here, that's another four. So what would that be? 18 plus four is 22. I believe we can fit 22 more people in here. Now over here, near the wrought iron gate, there is a little brick thing. I don't know if that's somebody's grave. I don't know what that is, but you know what? Let's pretend for a moment it is a grave. If it's a grave, then that means we can only fit 21 more people in here. But also look at the wasted room. Remember earlier how I said that there were four graves in row number two? Well, look at this grave right here. And look at George Jefferson's. And look at the space in between. Well, we can't fit anybody in there. So I think you can tell, Mom, there's tons of room. Now, that being said, let's look at the wrought iron fence that goes all the way around. I mean, I don't think they'd have to move much wrought iron fence. 
And looking at this real close and having surveyed it before I started filming this, this part of the fence, you can tell has been unbolted. I have a hunch this was unbolted for the last time to get equipment through for um, Mrs. Chenault. That's my hunch. Just pure speculation. So there's so much room in here. You can't tell me that, they cannot tell me that, that there's no room in here. Right? 